China has always been one of the biggest source countries for immigrants in the United States since the 19th century. While many come from China for economic opportunities and financial stability, many others come for the education of their children. A substantial group of children in China have been educated in the Western system and are Americanized, and thus are looking for further education in the United States. Because of this demand, I decided to interview my mother's friend, Jenny, about her journey and experience in America. Her child attended Phillips Exeter Academy, and she immigrated with him in order to support his growth. Although Jenny wanted to assimilate to the American culture, it was a rather hard task for her because of her language barrier. But in the end, she managed to find comfort in the American society despite her limited language capabilities. This interview was translated from Chinese to English. What was the hardest part of the immigration process? The hardest part of the immigration process for me was communicating with the local people and assimilating to the American culture. Chinese customs and culture are far different from those in America and thus there will always be this culture gap for me. On what aspects was it hard to assimilate into the American culture? For example, the holidays do not correspond with those in China. Even Chinese New Year, the biggest annual holiday in China, is largely ignored and not celebrated in the US. The language barrier is also very significant. I cannot communicate with the American people with these, which is definitely an obstruction of getting to know someone. Although I can speak and write, my English is not considered to be native for those living in America. And thus, sometimes I'd feel alienated because of this lack of ability. How do you like the customs domestically contrasted to those of your home country? I'm obviously more inclined towards the customs in China because I have lived there with these traditions my entire life. However, I'm trying to adapt to the customs and traditions in America. For example, Thanksgiving was never a big holiday for people in China. This year, I'm going to try to cook turkey and invite friends and family over. Although I'm trying to adapt, I still wish to maintain the traditions of my home country. What cultural traditions have you maintained? I've maintained Chinese cuisine for my family often, and I'm still trying to celebrate important Chinese holidays, such as the Arm Festival and the Chinese New Year. What influenced your decision to immigrate? My children has to go to school in the United States at a prep school. This is a major factor for me to immigrate with my family because they have been educated in a Western environment in China and the chances of them being recruited and going to a good college in the US is far greater than if they stayed in China. What are the things that you find interesting in a transition? I thought that the segregation on Long Island was immense. For example, all of the Asian people had stayed together in Flushing. Although the expats in China formed their own communities, I thought that Flushing was almost identical to a small city in China. You could be able to not speak a word of English and still get around in Flushing. Are you willing to integrate to the local culture, or do you wish to preserve your identity in this new location? The truth is, I am willing to assimilate into the American culture, unlike many immigrants. I believe that assimilating will not destroy my Chinese traditions and customs, but will only add to my international perspective. By being more rounded and understanding of the culture of these foreign countries more, I will become more of a global citizen. Did you immigrate directly to the United States? Yes, but my family has lived in Canada for a year. Was the language barrier the major obstacle? The language barrier is definitely the biggest obstacle to overcome during the immigration process for me. Although I've been in the United States for three years, I still find it hard to communicate sometimes because of my limited lingual abilities and find it hard to find American friends. Do you regret your choice? No, I don't regret the choice because I believe that immigrating has given me more benefits despite not being able to assimilate very well into the American culture.